Garnett with the Buell Group, bringing you through our newest listing. This one is out in Sun Prairie. It is a super cute tri-level, tucked away in the older part of town, so you have nice mature trees everywhere, as you will see from the backyard. But first of all, we are at the front entry area, some nice modern tile accents. You'll notice those kind of touches throughout the home, along with recently refinished wood floors. But right off the bat, we have a nice spacious living area. And as you can see, the, the front window here is nice and large, really brings that natural light in, it makes the room feel even brighter. Moving right into the open dining area, Plenty of space, obviously, for a large table. Overlooks the huge backyard, which is actually fully fenced. And that leads right into the nice, spacious kitchen. Stainless steel appliances, the cabinets have been recently repainted. And then through that door is actually your entry to the garage and the backyard, which has a really cool pergola, uh, which you can see if you want to book a showing in person. Otherwise, let's head up the short amount of stairs to the bedrooms and the first bathroom. So we have nice storage throughout. This is the nice thing about the mid-century homes is that you have some built-ins here as well as the linen closet. But if you want to peek in, that is our first full bathroom with a tub-shower combo. <laughs> Good size, slightly updated, could certainly use more of a touch if you wanted to. Otherwise, we can move down the hallway into the first bedroom. This is the smallest of the bedrooms, currently set up as a nursery, but it could easily fit a twin bed or larger. This family has chosen to remove the closet doors because that's what most people like to do with those accordion doors, but they are still in the basement if you wanted to add them back. And then right next to that would be the bedroom number two. Again, nice windows, bring that natural light pouring in. This house has been almost completely repainted recently, so it has a nice fresh feel. We have some nice modern touches like light fixtures and ceiling fans and such. Across the hall is the master bedroom or the main bedroom. This is a king size bed, so you can see there's still plenty of room to move around, plenty of room for furniture, and then your standard closet as well. If you want to peek out that window, you can kind of see a glance at that nice, spacious backyard. Might be a little tough to tell, but like I said, fully fenced. Nice lawn area, as well as a deck. So let's head down to the lower level. One of my favorite things about tri-levels is that while you have a little bit of split areas, it really keeps each floor with its own personality and nothing is too closed off from another. So even though if you're in the basement living area, you're not in isolation. Down here we have nice laminate floors that were put in in 2016. And they have it set up with a little bit of shiplap, a nice rec room area. And we do have some good sized windows here uh, to add some brightness as well. Built in some, for some more storage. But a nice blend of mid-century as well as modern touches. And then if we come down the hallway here, we have your fourth bedroom. And again, while it's in the basement, you really don't feel like it because it has the full size windows that are just extra bright. You can kind of see from there. Again, the nice built in uh, part, uh, part, uh, storage area as well as a closet. Lastly, we have the second full bath that has been very recently refinished. You can see a nice modern barn style door. And if you want to come on in here, you can see some LVP flooring, glass door, walk-in shower, nice modern touches. Now the best part about a tri-level is that there is still a basement area a few steps down. We don't need to go in there now. If you are interested in seeing it, make sure you hit that message button and set up a private showing. Otherwise, we will see you next time. Have a good one, everyone.